Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Yes, the video may sound and look a bit different, but I'm in my Hawaii hotel room. We are set up. Oh my god, I, I need I think I need to take a photo of my setup uh to uh to help my case in saying all I want from you guys today, type that code in, code the camp and rusher, and uh and touch that like button for me as well. Let's go for fifteen thousand likes. Stick around for the entire thing. There is so much news in today's video, more than yesterday. Uh, and you're going to learn a lot about Season 2. Um, but yeah, here we go. First off, more gold has appeared in the Middle Island as expected. And uh, I think we're at Stage 3, it would be right now, out of five stages. And uh, by the way, the, way the reason the webcam looks a little weird, I couldn't figure it out. Something was going on with the resolution, so we're just rolling with it. Honestly, I'm super impressed it turned out this well. <laughs> Oh, but you know what I mean. This is, uh, it's cracking me up that this is going on. Uh, my lady is at the gym right now. She's working out. I'm getting this done, and then we're going to the beach. So, uh, don't feel too bad for me. Okay, let's talk about yesterday first, because there's been four, four teasers happened yesterday, and two have happened today so far. So, they are just overloading us with leaks, with information, and, uh, and I say that in a, in a good way. I'm happy about it, man. I'm very happy. So, First thing is from yesterday, Transmission Intercepted, Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, Origin, and it's blanked out with this photo. And this photo actually tells us a lot. It's that blurred out image, but more importantly, you can we can see little images in the, in the fragments of, of gold floating around. First, there seems to be thunder, rain, some type of storm you can see on the left there. And then down from that, in the, I guess, the skinnier shard, you can see a, a massive boat potentially supporting that that Noah's Noah's Ark theory from a while ago. I don't know if we're going to be able to to drive one of those or if it's going to be a POI. You can also see on that same fragment on the right there, there's a uh, the cube reincarnated gold though, a gold version of it. It's a bit harder to see, but it is in the bottom bottom right of that thing there. And then of course there is the that logo there in that other fragment to the right and that that is the this agency, this new uh, this new thing that's been popping up on Discord, Fortnite, Reddit. By the way, if you missed yesterday's video, you're probably going to want to check that out as we went over a lot of info there. And there's also a bunch of random words. Uh, they've been translated to different things that don't really make sense, so I'm not going to go into it because it just it doesn't really add anything in my opinion. And then, so that was 65% as well, you could see. And then this one came out uh, four or five hours later. And it was transmission intercepted, Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, origin equals AU. And I think AU just references like the start or the beginning of something. Uh, so basically what, what origin means, right? So nothing crazy there. And in this one, we can see an outline of an area on the top right. And we'll get into that. That that you can see kind of the there's an entrance way there. So it's it, it's most likely the, the the entrance to that redacted bunker area. And then there's going to be a bunch of stuff underneath uh, as as our new one of our new POIs. But there's also another theory that I'll touch on in a second. And then we can see more of that that storm happening in some of these fragments. We can see kind of a, a new POI, possibly, is that a bus? That might be a battle bus burning. It's tough to see. Uh, and then it looks like that is our first battle pass skin, right? And there was, <laughs> Hypex did a, a meme that it basically looks like golden version of Thanos. So <laughs> Thanos is going to be our, usually they do tier one first. So I would expect this to be our tier one battle pass skin, some version of it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's a total guess. And that was 98%. Um, and that was the last teaser of the day. Now something interesting about this teaser though was it showed up in, in like a glitchy way in the lobby. So you logged into Fortnite, you went into the, the news feed or whatever, and, and this showed up. So a lot of people said this might mean it's uh, that Fortnite's being hacked, right? This transmission intercepted, something to do with a, a hacking, interception, hacking kind of makes sense. Again, I'm trying to give you as much info as I can, and then please, this is, uh, I saw 2,000 comments on the last video, and uh, they were fun to read. I didn't read every single one, but I read a few of them, and there were some very good theories. So again, put your theories down below, and if there's anything crazy, I will, uh, or anything that really makes sense, I'll put it in our next video. Uh, because yeah, the theorizing is one of my 
one of my favorite parts about all this. So the best part about this is people started to up the brightness and down the contrast on these uh, these teasers. So here's what happens when you do that on the recent teaser and we get some more info. First, bottom left there, there's a, a helipad, a helicopter pad. We might be getting a helicopter, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That might be our new transportation and that would make me very happy. I know we're probably scared that would be OP, but I don't care, man. We've been complaining for uh, for this game being stale for a bit bit too long now and uh, anything they give us content anything new keeps the game fresh I am a fan of uh, no matter what I may eat my words in a few weeks I know but we'll a uh, few days I guess but we'll see and on top of that this area here we are looking at uh, the middle island so the background there is the middle island you can see Hypex kind of lined up the images for us here and with that being said, now that you're seeing the images, you can tell that the middle island is definitely going to turn into something else. What that something else is, there has been talk of some oil factory, and it, it is hard to tell, but this, this, it could be located on this island, we're not too sure. But I guess take your best guesses down below based on this, this brightened image. And uh, one thing we do know for sure, the island is changing. We kind of knew that already, but now we get a glimpse of what this new map change, new POI, is, uh, is actually going to look like. And to add on to what I said earlier, the, the kind of the drawing outline on the top right corner, there's this image here. We, we think, the theory is that it, it's just the, the redacted bunker entrance, but someone traced it right near dirty docks and it lines up very, very well, as you can see there. So it, it could be a separate from the redacted area and just a completely separate bunker entrance. And yeah, I thought I'd throw that in. There's just so many theories. I'm trying to give you kind of everything and we, and we go from there. Now there's some new phone numbers before we go into, there's already been two more teasers today. There's just so much info, man. Thank God I brought the laptop to Hawaii because I would be feeling uh, very regretful if I was missing out on all this. It's exciting, man. It's exciting for all of us, I think. So, new phone number, and this is what it says when it's called. Follow Agent Go, or Ghost, uh, depending on the translation, D3G4F2. And you can see there is, uh, there's three squares there, and possible map changes. We don't know really what this means, but those, those uh, m points on the map were referenced in that phone call. And then the other one, there was a new poster found in Mexico with a new phone number. Turrets detected. An unknown agent was discovered in the area. Shooting sounds. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting more and more. And we talked about like six or seven different other phone number messages in yesterday's video. Once again, go check that out if you want to. Okay, let's move on to today's teasers because they're kind of completely different and seem to be tackling a different part of the storyline. First one. You can see the text there classified and then everything's blanked out basically, code name. And it's a picture of this, uh, dynamite. So I think dynamite will be returning. And um, I guess we'll, and keep in mind there are all those triangles on the bottom right. I think this is important. It, it, two out of three have been covered. So I think this just references the days, but the triangle we're gonna get back to in just a second because it looks like we've, uh, we've pinpointed some other theory. So that one's not too big. Um, until you up the brightness and down the contrast and here is that factory I was talking about so the new teaser shows an oil rig like structure when brightened up could this be a, a reference to the oil rig operation mentioned in one of the phone calls and you can see it's traced out there with an image of a, a real oil rig and it's, it's cool that they're doing all this man uh, so I don't know if this would be this would probably be out in the in the water so maybe the oil rig isn't part of that middle island the middle island might be something completely separate um, so two separate map changes it looks like have been leaked already let me know your thoughts where do you think this one would be and uh, and on top of that let's move on to the the next teaser because it kind of goes into my theory classified equals unredacted okay that's the added text and then we've got like a, a propane tank so this propane tank, and it's blurred out, we're probably gonna get another teaser. Hopefully by the time I'm done recording this video, we'll get the teaser and I'll put it in today's video. If not, we'll talk about everything in, in tomorrow's video. 
because uh, obviously after this, I'm going, I'm going to the beach with the lady. There's no more filming once I've done this. I'd get in trouble, which uh, rightfully so. But this plus the dynamite, I'm thinking this is going to be used to take out the, the dam. And that's how the dam's going to break and things might possibly flood. So, I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts. I've seen that going around. And uh, I want to know your thoughts on that one as well. So that's most of the teaser stuff. Don't go anywhere because I've still got a few very cool bits of information re regarding the triangle and those those bunkers at the end here. I quickly wanted to point out um, Fire Monkey did a little a couple tweets here about Fortnite China. They currently have a mini event going on right now regarding the next season, but it's a bit different than than how we're we're going about it here in uh, I guess non-China Fortnite. And uh, before we mention it, this is uh, the, the, this doesn't really relate to our version. It's always different. A rough translation on the page mentions that each day a teaser is shown. After the final teaser, you can unlock slash see an intelligence report. Most likely, this is what is inside the folder in the toilet. So it kinda, at least we got something about the folder in the toilet. And you can see a picture here. So the one thing is that, that, that it looks like they get V-Bucks for completing this uh, mini game to get all the different teasers and they get rewarded with 200 V bucks. We of course won't be getting V bucks, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe they'll hand us something, but <laughs> I don't think they've done that in the past. Where I think just, I think it's just a difference in in gaming culture, is how I understand it. Happy Power, my good buddy. Fortnite really had so many things hiding in front of us the whole time. With a photo in one of the buildings, there was the handprint. The handprints that been there the whole time, of course. There's no way we could ever know <laughs> that this was uh, this had something to do with the new season, but it it was there the whole time, and I don't know if that makes us feel better or worse about the entire situation. And finally, I'll rip through this last bit of info because I just realized our video is a little bit long. <laughs> That's okay. There's a lot of info. Thanks for sticking around. If you're still here. We know of three bunkers on the map, not including the redacted one. And when you trace the bunker locations, they meet perfectly at the center of the map. Perhaps a future event will have something to do with this. And this is what I was talking about. The three bunkers that have done nothing for, what, 10 seasons now? <laughs> and I've thought they would do things multiple times. The community has thought. And it looks like finally, unless they're just trolling us again, but the triangle... Plus, the triangle is in the teasers, that's why I mentioned it, and now it lines up perfectly with the center island, and, and I didn't realize this. I didn't realize that the these things created a perfect triangle, and then with the redacted bunker, maybe it's going to be this crazy underground connection system is going to be part of our new POI or POIs over the next few seasons. I have no idea, but I thought I would point that one out as well. And finally, there's some cool clip art here, not clip art, but uh. I guess a concept or some some art drawn up by Craig AU link down below Kevin has been resurrected and I just loved this screenshot this image he made uh, especially within that one of the first teasers we talked about yesterday or that came out yesterday we talked about today there is a a gold Kevin a gold cube hanging out so yeah, I thought I'd point that out. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's all I got. Touch that like button for me on your way out. Make sure to use code the Camp and Rusher when you're buying that battle pass, or just type it in right now so you don't forget. Other than that, take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.